So uh, I'm going to call to order the Greenwood Redevelopment Commission on this the 11th day of January of 2022. We have some administrative issues we'll talk about real quick. Uh, the biggest of which is that we don't have, sorry, the mics are on now. Uh, we don't have bonds yet for each of us up here. So uh, after consulting with council, we think we should not take any official action tonight. But I do know that we have a uh, tax abatement presentation on the agenda. So we will listen to that and take it under advisement. That way you don't have to come back next time. Uh, we don't want to waste any of your time. So um, I don't, uh, should we even take a roll call or call to order? It doesn't really, yeah, I sorry to call the meeting, but we don't need a roll call because we're not really any official, but we are all here um, if anybody cares. Uh, we'll wait to approve our minutes. Any official actions we won't take until our next meeting. Maybe we'll talk about that before we get off of here. That way, if anybody uh, wants to know when the next meeting is, then we'll have that. So, so I'll start with resolution number 2022-01, a resolution approving an application for property tax deductions for certain personal property located within the worst already economic development area, Sarnova HC LLC. And I see Amanda online. I don't know if you're going to start the proceedings or... You can if you want. We'll turn the floor over to you or whoever you want to give the floor to. I'm actually going to turn it over to their consultant, Leslie Rubin. Right. Amanda, my headset's not working. Wait a minute. Hi, can you hear me, Amanda? We can hear you. You can. Okay, my apologies. Okay. Um, my headset decided to quit on me at the last minute there. Um, the tonight, first of all, thank you very much for allowing us the opportunity to present to you. With me tonight, we have representatives from the company. Uh, it's Brooke Wallace, who will introduce herself, as well as Brian Ellis. Brooke, please go ahead. Hi, all. Thank you for your time. I am the corporate controller, vice president and corporate controller, and I'm here to help support in a finance and tax perspective. Brian? Okay, very good. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you everyone for your time. I'm Brian Ellis. I'm the Chief Operations Officer at Sarnova. And I'd like to uh, take a few minutes just to take you through um, our opportunity that we have in the Greenwood, Indiana area. So first thing I'd like to do is to share a little bit about Sarnova. Sarnova is made up of a number of companies, one of which that will be located in this facility in Greenwood is Bountry Medical. And Boundary Medical is a market leader in medical product distribution to the EMS and first responder space. Another one of the businesses that will be located in this facility is a company called Trianum Health. It is a specialty distributor of anesthesia and respiratory products into acute hospitals. And then finally, we have a company called Emergency Medical Products, EMP, and it's a digital web-based company that distributes uh, medical products across the country through a web solution. So those are the three businesses that will be located in this facility in Greenwood. And um, uh, there's, there's one other primary business called Cardiac Response, but uh, uh, Cardiac Response will not be located. It's a Sarnova company, but will not be located here. Uh, two years ago, we began a journey that we're calling our supply chain network optimization. And basically, we the purpose of this uh, supply chain network optimization is to go about and retrofit existing facilities to optimize the locations at which our businesses operate. And what's been involved in that is that we've added a new warehouse management system or in the process of that. We're about halfway through the process now, but we have signed new leases in three new markets. So we assigned a, we retrofit our building in, in Visalia, California. We signed a new lease in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas and have moved facilities there. We have signed a new lease in Jacksonville, Florida and moved facilities from Orlando, Florida into that Jacksonville market. And then we have recently signed a lease, of course, in Greenwood, Indiana. This facility is gonna be our largest facility. And it, um, it is, uh, we are going to move jobs that exist in existing facilities today that are in the Memphis, Tennessee marketplace, the Milwaukee, Wisconsin marketplace, and then also a few roles that will come out of our Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Elizabeth, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania location. So as we move um, business into this location, we will be creating new jobs 
in the Greenwood area to support that business there. Um, we considered six markets in four different states as we evaluated where we wanted this Midwest facility to be located. And it came down to Greenwood, Indiana versus a suburb in the Cincinnati marketplace. And we decided that Greenwood is where we wanted to be. So um, that's, that's the overview that I wanted to provide. I'm open to answer any questions you might have. Any questions from the commission members? Construction has already started. Yes, construction, we are scheduled to take access to the building um, by the end of this month. And at that point in time, we will begin our tenant improvements, which is gonna include uh, putting restrooms in, offices in, racking the facility, bringing in our conveyance and other material handling equipment. Um, we'll be creating demising walls that will separate the Trianum business from the Boundtree business. And so a lot of that construction will take place over the next 60 to 90 days, but um, we will have access to the building to begin that work. It's anticipated by the end of the month. So the 26th, I believe. Thank you, we appreciate it. Welcome to Greenwood. Very good, we're excited to be there. Thank you. Sir. All right. Um, we will skip the PSA for hirings. Uh, let's see, Kevin. Is anybody here to get the Main Street Madison Avenue project up there? Kevin's online. Oh, he's online. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Um, I just want to let you know we've we've actually tried to um, bid this before, uh, right before almost this this time of year, 2020. And as you all know, the world got a little more uh, complicated. Uh, as we were getting bids for that. So we're going to go and uh, try to bid out that project again, which would widen the sidewalks from Pearl Street to Maine and from Madison to uh, Meridian. Um, and hopefully we can get some uh, uh, responsible um, qualifying bids and have that. Amanda, will they be in by the next meeting or will it take till the March meeting? I can't remember the exact time i think february 8th is when the bids come in so it might be the march might be the march meeting so um but anyways i just want to give you that update we're going to try to bid that project that that we actually embarked on and designed a couple years ago but um it's had a lot going on so um other than that i don't have maybe that's good because there's no no official action so okay. that's perfect thanks kevin thank you uh, monthly financial report. Adam's out. <coughs> the is up that he, uh, he okay, great. I know you sent us something in the email too. So, uh, anything with Corporation Council? No. Thank you. Mr. Watson? No. Mr. Wright, anything, sir? Nothing. Mr. Johnson, anything? No. Anything from the mayor? I suppose not. Uh, okay. So they're mostly at our meeting. Um, we want to talk about when we can reschedule to approve our minutes, select our officers, and approve the claims docket the next time. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, a week? Will they be done in a week? Can we come back next Tuesday? Uh, I think a week's too soon, probably at least two weeks. All right. Thinking about doing the Zoom. Just a Zoom, yep. We'll get in, we'll do these three things, and we'll be done in 10 minutes. If right, as soon as I receive the bonds, I can let people know to stop by and sign. Okay. So, Tuesday, I can tell you that the board already got something. Else. I, I have a conflict of stuff for Thursday the 25th. If you went earlier, I would be available. Uh, or Wednesday, I'm available. Wednesday, the third. Everybody. You're saying the 25th, right? We're on to the 26th now. Oh, okay. please. Yeah, good so far. So for 4 30, the 25th? 26th. Yes. Wednesday. Sorry, the 26th. It's Wednesday. The 26th. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. even better. All right. 4.30 over Zoom. 4.30 over Zoom, yep. 
Wednesday, January 26th. Zoom meeting, and we'll knock it out real quick so everybody can go on with their lives. Um, I guess just in case anybody on the council should ask, uh, does anybody have any reservations about the Sarbola tax abatements? I don't know. No. I guess. All right. Oh, Sam, just in time. Perfect. Anything else you can think of, Mr. Watson, that we should cover? We'll adjourn our meeting. Thank you, everyone.